Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicola and I'm a mum of two and I make videos on all things lifestyle, motherhood and hauls and vlogs and organisational videos and stuff like that. So if you like that sort of thing, I'd love it if you would subscribe. You can do that by clicking the button here and if you click the bell as well, you'll be notified every time I upload a video, which at the moment is once a week. So today I thought I would do something a bit different. I've just been and done our weekly food shop and I shop, I do my shop, a split shop. I shop in Aldi and also in Tesco. Uh, we are a very busy family of four and uh, we have to have meals that are quick and easy to prepare uh, most nights because we are out and about um, at children's activities every night of the week. Um, and also I have been following the Weight Watchers or WW since June last year and although I am at goal now we try and eat relatively healthy or Weight Watchers inspired meals when we can. So some of the meals here, not all of them, but some of them will be, well they're all suitable for Weight Watchers because you can eat anything, but um, some of them are healthier than others. Um, so anyway, I'll get into it, I'll show you what we've got and um, I will talk through the different meals we're going to be having throughout the week. So I'll quickly just show you the two bag, loads of shopping basically. This is Aldi and this smaller pile here is Tesco um, and you can see how well, this shopping came to about £65 and this smaller pile came to £60 or just under £60. So you get an awful lot more for your money in Aldi than you do in Tesco. We tend to buy, I tend to buy the things in Tesco's that I can't get in Aldi um, or things that are actually cheaper in Tesco. For example, this Diet Coke here is a lot cheaper in Tesco than it is in Aldi. Um, and there's a few things that the children don't like from Aldi, like their crisps and things like that. So I buy those in Tesco. Anyway, I'm going to unpack it all, get it out and show you what we have got. So this is all how it looks now that it's all unpacked and then we've got all our fruit and veg, all the healthy stuff over here. So I'll just talk through what I've got and try and pinpoint the different meals um, that we're going to be having throughout the week. Anything that I have a recipe for I will link below um, in case you want to check that out. Um, so. Um, so we are meat eaters, as you can tell. Um, so today, uh, my daughter has a, a dance festival this afternoon, and we're not going to be back until probably around seven. So Andrew is going to cook dinner, and we're going to be having this, which is the roast in the bag unsmoked boneless gammon joint, and we're going to have that with jacket potatoes and salad, and the kids will probably have it with beans, and I'll probably have some coleslaw, which I have somewhere on here. Where's my, oh, there it is. Coleslaw, I get the reduced fat. Um, they do do this in Aldi, but um, they only do a really, really big carton. And because it doesn't last that long when it's open, and it's only me really that eats it, it's a waste of money to buy a massive one. So I just get this smaller one from Tesco. Um, so that's today. Tomorrow is Sunday, and we'll be having a roast dinner. We do that most Sundays, in certainly in the winter and the autumn, autumn winter. Um, and we have a roast chicken which is probably my favourite. The kids like roast pork, um, but because we're having ham tonight, we will have chicken tomorrow. And with that, we will obviously have roast potatoes. I've got, I'll show you the fruit and veg in a minute. We have roast potatoes, broccoli, carrots, peas. Um, we like uh, cauliflower cheese and I can make it, but it is so much quicker and easier to buy it. And they do it in a packet here um, in Aldi, which is, I don't know how much it is, but it's pretty um, good value and so much easier than making it yourself and Yorkshire puddings and stuffing, which I buy the Quick Sew from Aldi and it is um, just as nice as Paxo and the same, the Quick Sew gravy, chicken gravy as well and then, so that's the weekend then Monday um, we will be having the kids tend to eat separately from us during the week because they um, as I said before, they had activities and they were all home at different times. So the children, I've brought, I just buy a selection of different things that they can have. Um, I've got these mini, um, mini chicken fillets, the plain ones, and also the southern fried ones as well, which they like. Um, also, I have some fish always in the freezer and we have some sausages and bacon and things like that. So um, they will eat those. Also, this is a big favourite for Phoebe. She loves... Um, big sausage pasta she calls it so I buy this pork, smoked pork sausage and I stick it in a pan with some of this Dolmio pasta sauce some frozen veg 
um, bung that in, heat it up, and then add it to pasta, and she absolutely loves it. She would eat that every day if she could. She doesn't, but uh, it's a really handy meal just to have because it takes 10 minutes and it's done. So that's that. On Monday, we will be having um, a meal that I love, which, oh, Andrew really loves it too, that I found on Pinterest. I will link it below, which is basically a uh, chicken curry fake away um, and we make that so I have um, I've got chicken breast here and we make um, we have that with some green pepper and onion and peas and mushrooms and then the sauce I make using um, it's like the Mayflower curry sauce but it's way healthier um, so I make it using butternut squash and courgette and onions um, with some chicken stock and then I whiz that up in a blender and I'm gonna make that tomorrow in advance because that takes a little while. So I'm gonna make it in advance, put it in the fridge, and then I will just bung that over the curry on Monday when I cook it when we get home. And with that, Andrew will probably have some of the Uncle Ben's rice. He likes the whole grain spicy Mexican rice. Um, and I will have cauliflower rice. Now I don't usually buy this one. I usually buy the fresh cauliflower rice, which you can get in Aldi, but they didn't have any today. So I had to buy this one, which is really actually quite expensive. It's two pounds for that. Um, it's way cheaper in Aldi, but needs must and uh, I had to get that today, which was annoying, but there we go. Um, and then, what else? So that's Monday. Tuesday we'll be having um, a recipe which I found called Nine Minute Noodles, which again requires chicken breast, it requires stir fry noodles, but stir fry veg, sorry, which I couldn't get because there wasn't any that would have lasted until Tuesday. So I'm gonna go in on Tuesday and just buy some um, stir fry veg and we'll put it with, uh, these medium egg noodles and that's about it really it's very easy I use a bit of ginger I use the lazy ginger and the lazy garlic and then I add uh, soy sauce and a bit of honey and that's it it's done and they're nine minute noodles really really quick so perfect because we don't get back from dance until half seven on a Tuesday night so it's something I can quickly bung in and then we're off um, Wednesday we will be having fresh pasta which is our go to a very quick meal because it takes literally four minutes. Um, so we like the spinach and ricotta tortellini and we always have it with the tomato and mascarpone sauce. Um, it's, as I say, it's really good when you've got to be quick in and out. We, Archie has a violin lesson and I half past five till six and then I have to be out of the house for seven to go to choir on a, Tuesday, on a Wednesday night. So this is perfect to be done in five minutes and then eat with some salad. Um, and then on Thursday we're going to have chilli. So I haven't bought the mints for the chilli because um, there wasn't anything that was in date and Andrew's not a fan of putting stuff in the freezer and then defrosting so it's easy just to go and buy uh, fresh mints on Thursday for our chilli. And I used the Weight Watchers recipe and I'll link the video below. I did a what I eat in a day and I cooked the recipe in that video so I will link that below but it's really super easy. Just needs chopped tomatoes. Um, and um, obviously mints, kidney beans, I think I put a pepper in there and we have that with pitters uh, which are there. So I'll just show you what else I've got. So um, I've got some sausages and bacon which we have for the children's meals but also we tend to have um, for Sunday morning breakfast. Um, I've shown you all of these. Um, we use, we drink se uh, skimmed milk and this, I use the Tesco filtered because I think it lasts a little bit longer, it stays fresher a bit longer. Um, pork sausages, these are for the dog. Um, he has one sausage every day with his breakfast and that's his little treat, so that's for him. Um, we use this um, mature cheddar, that's from Aldi, it's just like Cathedral City, just tastes the same. Um, I use this 0% fat uh, fat free uh, Greek yogurt from Aldi. Um, I love this stuff and I put it with um, frozen berries which I defrost in the microwave and usually top it with a bit of this um, which is the super nutty granola and that's really nice um, and that's sort of like a, either a, sometimes I have that for lunch um, and it's about three points on Weight Watchers uh, just for the granola obviously the if you have it without the granola it's, it's zero points um, or I sometimes have it late in the evening if I've got points left um, as a snack. Um, we've got these Muller Corners, which are Archie's favorite, so he has those pretty much every day. Um, eggs, we go through a lot of eggs. Andrew will eat four eggs at a time. Um, we, the children eat eggs, I eat eggs every day, so there's 24 there and they probably won't even last the week. 
um, pizzas were for the chilli. Um, sandwich thins, um, the children prefer these to bread. Uh, they both have them in their packed lunches. Archie has packed lunch every day. Phoebe just has packed lunch on a Thursday and a Friday, but she tends to have a packed tea uh, when she's at dance, so um, I use those for that. So we've got two of those. Um, Hovis Granary bread is our go-to bread, but none of us really eat a lot of it, so one loaf for the week is enough. And then I bought these um, bagel thins, which I have discovered taste amazing on with poached eggs on top. I used, I used to always have one slice of toast, or sometimes two, with my poached eggs, and I have that for breakfast most days. But I discovered that they taste incredible on a, a bagel thin, so I think it's probably got a lot to do with the fact that it's white bread, and that's a real treat. So that's those. Um, I got um, bird's eye uh, frozen peas, because the kids have those a lot and we'll have that with our roast dinner as well. I'm a bit of a pea snob, I only like bird's eye. I can't eat the other pea, any other peas, so we just get those. Um, ice cream for the children, um, for their puddings and things. I tend to get some Halo Top ice cream when it's on offer for us. Uh, we've got some in the freezer already, um, which I will have as a special treat for puddings. Uh, chips, because chips. Um, and those are Yorkshire puddings. And then here we've just got snacks, these are for anyone really, but lot for lunches and things. So crisps, so the children will have for a packed lunch quite often. My children don't eat particularly healthy. They try, I try and make sure they have meals during the week with vegetables and things, but I'm not too worried um, if they have the odd snack here and there, which is less than healthy. I think sometimes it's about balance. So they like these chocolate cake bars. Andrew and I love these, these ginger and lemon Weight Watchers cookies. They are so nice. Uh, they are three points for two cookies. And I bought these in Aldi, which uh, Aldi don't often have Weight Watchers food, so I thought I'd try those. They're the indulgent chocolate mini rolls. Um, fruit winders uh, for kids' lunches. Uh, brunch bars for Archie's lunch. I bought these in Aldi. Uh, Andrew loves protein bars, and I thought they looked quite different and nice. Um, they're probably extremely high in points if you were on Weight Watchers, so I wouldn't recommend them. But uh, if you do a lot of exercise, then they might be good. Uh, these are for ch kids snacks, so these are from Aldi and they're basically um, Kinder Bueno, but a cheaper version. And these are my go-to snack, which are the Harvest Morn Benefit Bars from Aldi, and I really like those, and they are three points a bar. Um, is there anything else? Uh, oh yes, so I bought these. These were an offer in Aldi. Um, six pack of raspberry flavoured jellies. They're 10 calories um, and zero points on Weight Watchers. Great if you're wanting a snack and you're st or you're still hungry or you've had a salad for lunch and you really want something sweet but you don't want to use any points. I would recommend those jellies. Uh, over here, oh, I've said the granola. Um, I've just got some Nora chicken stock cubes, tin tomatoes we've talked about. I think all of those we've talked about. Um, I bought some tonic water because we have some gin left over from Christmas and I keep thinking oh I'd really fancy a gin and then haven't got anything to have with it so I just bought that so that we'd have something in. Um, there's summer fruits which the children like to drink and then this big thing of Diet Coke it's a bit of a it's my uh, nemesis really when I'm cooking a meal I love a can of Diet Coke and um, these were on offer at 24 for £5.50 which is a real bargain so I got them to keep in the cupboard. Toothpaste. Um, and oh, Phoebe was desperate for some new tights for school, so I got these super soft tights. They were £9.50 for five pairs. I'm sure she'll go through them in about a week. And they always have holes in. Um, toilet rolls, which are from Aldi. And then just the fruit and veg that we've got. So I use for roast potatoes and mash and things, I use these Albert Bartlett rooster potatoes, the red ones. They, I find that they are the best ones really for roasting and for mash. They're really good. Um, carrots, which we will have in all sorts of things, but they get eaten very quickly. Onions, avocado, the only person that eats avocado is Andrew, and he absolutely loves it, so he will get through those before the weekend is out, I should imagine. And um, if you don't know, there's a special tip. If when you're looking to see if an avocado is ripe, if you take out the seed, or the little pip at the top there, the stalk, um, and if it's green, then the avocado is fresh and ripe and ready to eat. If it's brown, it is overripe. So that's a top tip for you. Uh, Coxie's apples. Um, we usually have pink ladies, but they are not tasting good at the moment, apparently. So Coxie's apples, that's mostly Andrew and Phoebe who eat those. Um, broccoli, that's for our roast tomorrow. Um, salad, this is the salad we'll have tonight with our jacket potatoes. We really like the butterhead salad. Um, it's nice and crispy and crunchy and yeah, it's 
our favourite. Jacket potatoes, bananas, we get through about three bananas a day, uh, at least. The children don't eat it, it's just me and Andrew that eats it, eats them, but I can't buy any more than this because they obviously go over right really quickly. So we buy, and I have to, we buy one set of, uh, what do you call them, a bunch. One bunch of bananas and then have to go back and restock several times during the week. Uh, mixed peppers, uh, easy peel, these are tangerines I think, which Archie and Andrew both eat. Archie likes them in his lunch. Um, oranges, which Archie loves to eat, he'll have those as a snack. The courgette and the butternut squash, which was for the curry sauce. Cucumber for the salad. Mini tomatoes for salad. And mushrooms, which will go in the chilli and in the curry. And that is everything. So I hope you enjoyed seeing um, what we bought. I love watching these videos because it gives you different ideas of things that you can buy. And also when offers are on, like that Diet Coke, I mean, that's it. if you drink Diet Coke, that is a good bargain. Um, and just get an idea of what other people buy when they go shopping. And um, also for meal ideas, because I'm always in need of good meal ideas. Um, I think since I joined Weight Watchers, I've got a bit more adventurous with what we cook and what we eat but um, we can always do with new ideas. So any recipes I've got, I will link below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one.